Hey everyone, Nils here from Dingy Studio. Welcome back to a new video um, in our series on how to build websites and how we do it at Dingy Studio um, using SvelteKit, the front-end framework, and Sanity as a headless content management system. But today something popped up and I was reminded that I wanted to make this video about how to preview changes um, you made in your sanity content management system, how you can preview them in the actual website without publishing. So you know what you're doing before uh, publishing the content. And let's dive right in. So <clears throat> this is our sanity backup uh, backend. And I'm on the homepage here. I guess this is like a pretty standard setup that many, um, many people will see when they work with sanity. This is our projects page. And so um, I wanted to show you how we implemented like a very easy preview mode. Um, there is like a very elaborate preview mode that Sanity put together where you can kind of, as you type, see, see it live update on your website's front end. Um, we didn't get around to implement just that, but I still wanted to show you like a very easy and cheap way um, that I don't think anyone is talking about. Really? I don't know. Please tell me if I'm wrong, but I didn't see it done anywhere. Um, and we kind of stumbled, um, stumbled upon it by accident. So let's check out anything, like a blog post. We have one here that's not published yet. That's actually perfect. Oh yeah, so my, my co-founder Adam <laughs> is working on a blog post for about the European Accessibility Act and what it means for your business. Interesting. So um, this one is not published yet, as it says down here, it's still missing information. There's like a requirement um, that's not fulfilled yet. And still, <clears throat> um, Adam was totally able to use the preview mode right over here, just switch over here, and to look at his beautiful blog post, even though it was not published yet. And as you can see down here, it says preview mode and draft. So the way that Sanity works is you can have a document either published or it's in a draft state. Um, and they introduced a brand new feature that's called perspective on the content lake. Um, and that's what we're leveraging here. So um, this, this preview thing over here, there's a plugin for Sanity that's called iframe panel or something like that. And this is just that. So you can, we called this thing preview, but you can call this anything. Like it could be any other website that's in this thing. And so what we're doing is we're, <laughs> we're just grabbing the path of the URL, the slug, um, and uh, loading that into this iframe. And, um, and so what this does is let me show you real quick before we get into the technical nitty gritties is that if, for example, on the headline, I just add something here, like your, your wide directive for something, whatever, I don't very bad at texting something spontaneously, but let's switch over the preview and you can see it updated just like that. Um, this even applies. So let's hold on. Let's reverse that um, before Adam gets mad at me. Um, but so another example could be on the homepage, for example, is um, on the homepage we have, I don't know, our sub headline over here. And this is like a, <clears throat> there's a published version of this, right? Like, and this blog post has never been published, but this one has. And so I'm just gonna, you know, like change something, just remove a word over here. And so even again, like without hitting publish, I can switch over to preview mode and it will go um, and show me the updated thing. So, um, what did it here? Okay. Powered, put it back, switch over to preview mode. And I can see what I did. And it, as an added bonus, this iframe panel has like this little button. It says preview mobile viewport, which is also pretty cool. And it just shrinks down and shows you the thing. 
Um, and that's like a very convenient way to, to work as an author. Um, but why I really wanted to make this video apart from that, this is cool as an author is I think that it's super easy to implement. So, um, let's jump into a tiny bit of code. <laughs> um, the only thing I did here is, so we have an, an environment variable. I'm going to talk about it that in a, in a second um, and like where to apply it, what it is. But let's say we have a variable that tells me preview mode is either on or off. So, and, um, this bit of code is basically the setup on how the website in our kit Svelte kit in our case Svelte kit, but it could also be Next.js or whatever have you that wants content from sanity. And um, you have to set it up once, like you have to tell it the project ID and the data set and stuff like this. <clears throat> and so down here, there's a couple options that I want to turn on or off either for preview mode or for not preview mode. So let's look at them one by one. So we have here use CDN. That's an option that Sanity provides that if you upload an image, for example, that you can get it from their content delivery network, um, which makes the image super fast and distributed across the globe and so on. If I'm on preview mode, I don't need that. Like that's like if you update, if you upload content to the CDN, it takes like a couple of seconds to propagate through all the data centers and we don't need that. So we can just turn it off. So use CDN if it's preview mode, false, turn it off. <clears throat> then we have the interesting feature that I was talking about. And that's this option that's called perspective and perspective is like basically a view on the content lake, right? Like it's your perspective that you're taking right now. And there are a couple different available and I'm switching be between the perspective of preview drafts or published. And um, so if the preview mode is, a, is available, whatever document I fetch to show um, the content in the website for, I want the latest version, even if it's a draft. So, um, if I, in our example, if I go to this blog post, this one, even though it's not published, it's going to show me the draft version anyway. And if it's not preview mode, then I only want the published documents. And let's stick with that for a while. <laughs> so we have the perspective and the only thing we have to do is to flip over a variable and we do that. Um, in our case on Vercel, because that is our hosting platform, but this is not dependent on Vercel. Like this works on any platform basically. Um, and so the way that works on Vercel, just so you saw this once is they have a section environment variables for our dinghy website project. And in here, if I search for preview, I have this defined um, a couple times. And so this one says production. And so here preview mode is false. And for development and preview, it is true. And, um, here, this is on because we are on preview.dingy.studio. And I just told Vercel that this deployment is, um, a preview deployment. And this way we can just have it. And um, so long story short, you just switch on the perspective mode in your sanity client and um, you switch it over uh, to preview drafts and then it will always show the latest thing. And as long as you can uh, set it to preview drafts in like a preview environment and to published on a production environment, then you're golden and you have a preview mode in basically 10 minutes. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. I thought this was like an exciting feature and, um, I'm eager to see what the real preview mode can do, but until then I'm kind of happy with this solution. See you on the next one.